What's up guys, this is Jorge Yao back with another YouTube video. Now in this video I wanted to highlight some defense, defensive wins, excuse me, um, that I won in my most recent defenses, but right now I am in a YouTube promo clan called YouTube Loves Jorge. Now I created this early today because um, my Yao Squad account is actually on two day shield, so I'm going to have him post up in this clan. And it's, it gives me a chance to give back to the community too. So we have some players in here, uh, like Delano and a few others. We have Sax God in here too. They're kind of my, you know, regulators to make sure that when we open up the clan, it kind of fills up. You guys will see it live here. Uh, well, not live, but, you know, you guys will see the clan fill up pretty quickly. And then uh, basically we just donate and people can interact with us. But usually people just come in, we donate, and then they leave. And then we just do rounds and rounds of that. So it does take a lot of effort. So a big shout out to uh, Delano and Sax God and Meagle for all these guys who are just kind of moderating basically um, for this clan. So let's go ahead and warn these guys. Okay, let's go. YouTube recording live. Alright, so now I'm going to flip the switch right now from, from close to anyone can join and then let's see Let's see this uh, clan chat just explode. Now it has to, it takes a second for the actual clan to update to that, but once it updates, then it just goes hog wild. So let's let's take a look at that once it does happen. I don't know what, exactly how long it takes, but there you go. You can see anyone can join, tr require trophy zero. So it's about any second now. So you guys, you know, obviously you're watching my channel, so you guys already know all my social media, my YouTube. I'm um, officially a Twitch partner, which I'm pretty excited about. Still waiting on. Um, so you join. Cool. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, tired of farming resources? Get buff. Okay, so that's just some BS guy who's just uh, promoting something. Uh, so we got one guy coming in. It's gonna. The follow train is gonna come. There we go. There we go. And it's gonna explode. So we got. It's actually a slow trickle, and now it's now it's gonna explode. <laughs> Um, that's usually what happens. It's gonna be like boom, 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 boom. This is actually kind of slow right now. Usually I fill the clan up within like less than three seconds. Uh, they come in, request troops, which is a good opportunity, I guess, uh, for, you know, players who are, don't have max troops or their clans aren't, uh, don't have max troops to donate. Uh, this is a good chance to give back to the community, right? So, cause for us, like, you know, we just want, we have max troops all the time. That's kind of a requirement to be in the max clan or to be in the top clan. So it's a good chance for us to basically give back, uh, donate to our fans who have supported us since day one. So, uh, pretty cool. Uh, I, I used to do this a lot back when I was number one for so long. Um, haven't had a chance to do it now. Oh, now you guys see it. Boom, 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 boom. It just all comes in waves. And then, you know, people get kicked and uh, they leave. So that's kind of cool. So we donate troops and uh, this is actually, I think, how Brandon got... Um, a lot of his levels because this is probably one of the quickest ways to do donations and gain levels basically um, So I used to do this, but not so much anymore. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually go into some gameplay so uh, In my previous episodes with drag raids for days I showed you guys uh, that it had a defensive win that I want to show you so it's against Waltz and it was a good attack from Kings Rock it was a good effort plus seven cups um, but this base I use all the time, all the time. So as you can see, this base, I, you've seen it in other videos, and when the w new walls came out, I'm like, okay, well, what do I do with the new walls? So I really had nothing to do with them, so I literally just line the army camps on each side with more walls. Uh, I don't know if it actually does anything, I was just pretty much lazy and didn't know what else to do with them. I guess I could put them, like, behind, you know, one side or the other side, or box another side in, but I was like, eh, whatever, I'm too lazy for it. So let's go ahead. So he goes with a, I'll pause it again, he goes with a go wipe or no, a go, go wee wee. Uh, sorry. Uh, so he has four golems, two witches, 16 uh, wizards, 12 wall breakers, a couple archers, a couple, couple cleanup crew. And he's got the, let's see, he's got the two jump spells I think it was. Two jump spells, one rage, two freeze, and one poison max zero. So let's go ahead and, and critique this attack. So this is actually how I would go like this build, uh, this um, base two as well. I would go in on both corners, um, go in, in on CC side, which is actually pretty smart because you lure out that Lava Hound right there, and you have time basically to stall and take out that Lava Hound without take, with taking minimal damage from 
uh, defenses. So there you go. That's what he's doing right now. He's trying to take out that uh, that lava hound before it stalls near the core. Now if the lava hound uh, gets triggered, like let's say let's say he attacks from this side, um, it takes a while for the lava hound to come out. And by the time the lava hound actually comes out. Your, your troops are pretty much going to get stalled around here, which is really just the kill zone. Like, you have all these, you have the Expos, you have the Inferno Towers, you don't want that happening. So, good choice in terms of what society pick to choose uh, to attack from. He's got all of these widget, uh, Wizards bunched up. I have that big bomb, so look at that right there. So, as soon as I saw that, and I'm pretty sure as soon as he saw that, he was like, Aw, oh, crap, GG rip. Like, look at how many wizards there are in that big bomb. Oh, that's just what you want to see. That's like, oh, man. GG rip wizard. Boom. There you go. All those, see all those ghost skeletons? Oh, my God. They just all just died. That was a perfect bomb, though. I, when I was watching that, I was like, clutch. <laughs> clutch. Um, but he's still looking pretty good. So these wall breakers got into the middle core, which I was kind of afraid of. I was like, okay. Well, he dropped his king and his queen on this side, so they're not going straight to the core, which is okay. He still has one freeze spell left. He kind of used that freeze a little bit premature because that single target inferno really was targeting the king, but it didn't really, it takes time for that single target inferno to build up that damage, right? So you want to wait for a little bit, at least like a second or two, before you put the freeze spell so that it retargets, so that you're, that king, you know, has still has a lot of life left because once you pop that king ability he gains more life obviously so you know you can sacrifice a little bit of life and still wait on that uh free spell and i think that's what kind of did him dirty because that inferno tower is pretty much low to no health so the queen wandered which is what this the base is basically designed for uh with go wipe and stuff like that which is why i like air attack because with air attack in my previous drags um, drag raids for days videos video that I posted yesterday. I showed you what how I attack using king and queen Once I clear out the 50% with just the dragons and how I can get into this core With my queen without her wandering now in this case, you know with go wipe go wee wee You pretty much drop your king and your queen and you let them go, right? There's really no uh, surgical maneuvering with them uh, Unless I guess there are there are hybrid attacks that do surgically uh, do that, but in most cases, they don't. So, that being said, you know, you really, it's kind of hit or miss, and these bases are designed to, to funnel those troops out. And I was kind of worried because those wall breakers got in and the king got in, so I was like, okay. But just having the queen, the king in there doesn't really do much. So as you can see, it was a good effort. He tried to pick off some other buildings on the side, but didn't really work. He was at 46%. He needed four more percent, which is four more buildings. Didn't happen. Good effort on Waltz, though. Good attack. Um, this base is difficult. It's not an easy base, um, a lot, which is why a lot of people actually have it. Um, it doesn't do as well against air attacks. I have one against Lava Lunian attacks, um, but you know, typically speaking, you know, it, it's pretty much designed for for ground attacks. Now, for Lava Lunian attacks, uh, I don't think I've ever been two starred. Maybe I have. I can check my defensive log. Uh, I I think I mainly get attacked by ground, which is actually surprising because with the update, you would think that uh, I, you know, you'd get attacked more by Lava Lunians. But you know, in my last, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven attacks, only one of them was Lava Lunian, or one of them was air. The rest are all ground. Go wipe, go wee wee. You know, I don't see any any other. You know, once in a while you see Lunians, um, and I haven't even seen drags yet. Like I, you know. That's crazy to me because like I'm posting these videos of how easy it is for me to two star base it with drags Usually most of the times without even heroes and you know people haven't been using them So I uh, you know once once more people start subscribing to my channel and start watching my videos I'm sure they're gonna go uh, start learning drags. It's a pretty easy strategy in my opinion I mean easier than uh, I think go wipe go wee wee and pretty much I think it's one of the easiest strategies in the game um, you know, that being said, for me, it's one of the easiest strategies because, you know, within the first one, two seconds, I already know what I'm going to do and how to spread. But for a lot of players, I know, especially North 44, they try to learn from my uh, replays and my videos, and they still quite can't get it right because there's those minor, there's always those minor nuances that are kind of just pro tips that you learn from uh, doing it so often. And I, and I, as you guys know, I used to be, you know, the drag attacker, so... Um, so I kind of pick up from where I left off and I know exactly how I'm gonna attack a base within the first like 
few seconds and then how you know how far I need to fan my drags to get that 50% and then how many drags I need to hold back if I want to go for that two star it's also so it's like you know the, the attack looks simple but you know at the end of the day when you're doing it yourself you know you're always second guessing and you're not really sure exactly what to do so I can understand that but in terms of like I've tried all these attacks before go wipe Go Wee Wee, all those ground attacks make me so nervous, but they're so gratifying in terms of watching them destroy, destroy bases. But uh, it's nerve-wracking because you don't really have, unless you have like a like a large cleanup crew, um, you know, it's really nerve-wracking attacking using those strategies. Only because uh, you're basically dropping all your troops within <laughs> the first like 10-15 seconds and then you're like, okay, I pr and then it's all about spell placement. Whereas air attacks, you can bail yourself out if you're like, okay, I'm on the brink of 2-star, but maybe I should play it safe. I still have, you save your heroes for, for last, so you basically have an opportunity to either get the 1-star guaranteed, or you can go a little bit greedy and get the 2-star, or, you know, best case scenario, you already have the 1-star with drags, and you're going for that 2-star with the hero. So, that's just my philosophy. I like drags. I love drags. It's obviously working for me. I'm at 4918. I was actually, uh, this morning I pulled a session, and I'm going to pull another session later today. Uh, this morning I made it to 4934, which was my personal best, and I lost, um, uh, 16 on defense. So, I'll share this replay. It's a loss, uh, but I'm going to show it to you. So again, one star. I think this is a five golem raid or six golem raid with three jump spells. So I hate these. Uh, I mean, I shouldn't say I hate them because I used to use six golems too. Six golems is pretty OP. I mean, uh, I tried you know the eight or nine golem attack strat. That uh, so it's a five golem go wee wee because there's uh, a two two three in the clan castle. And for those of you who don't know, a two two three is two witches, two wizards, and two of either bar or barbarians or archers. So he goes in for the two two three on that. The five golems. Um, there's not that, there's, oh, that's my favorite part of this, this, boom, I love it, I love it when a big bomb just triggers, and, oh, when, when you're an attacker on Go Wee Wee, and you see that happening, you're like, ah, oh, crap, face palm, like, is this gonna be GG, probably GG, but when I'm watching this live, I'm like, yes, boom, boom, look at all those ghosts, look at all those ghosts, so from there, I'm like, okay, this is going really well now, this is going really well, um, King's just there, but King jumps in, he freezes, and I'm like, ah, crap, ah, crap, ah, crap. He doesn't have any freezes left, and he's getting stalled by all the skeleton traps. Uh, I really think the, the air skeleton traps, or the air traps, are pretty much useless, so, um, that's why everyone kind of uses ground skeleton traps. So as you can see, the queen is getting, uh, kind of targeted by the multi-target, and now the single target, so she's gonna have the proper ability uh, pretty much quite soon, and she's she's attacking that town hall, which is what's gonna hit me. She's like, ah, 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 and she doesn't get it. She doesn't get it. That health. Did you see that? So close. The attacker, Marcus nine seven one, was probably like, oh my god, I can't believe that just happened. I almost got the town hall. Almost got the town hall. Literally was one hit away. One hit away from the town hall. And now he's just, you know, he's still got golems. They're gonna do splash damage. He's at 47%. Uh, and then, you know, down here, easy, easy uh, cleanup crew to get that 50%. But, oh my god, that was so close. So clutch. And that was a huge difference because, like, losing, uh, you know, so I'm gonna speed this up a bit. Because basically the attack's finished. I don't know why he keeps going. He's wasting talent in the clouds. But that was a plus 16 for him. But he's probably like kicking himself right now. I'm thinking like I could have had plus 32 right there. And I only got plus 16 because of the town hall. So clutch though. So clutch on my part. Um, but there you go. There were my two last offenses in the last, uh, let's see, 19 hours. So I'm going to start another session. I'm at 9 hours and 41 minutes on shield. I have a two-day shield available. But I will be traveling back to London on Saturday. So, and uh, the tournament, I believe, ends in four days. So it's like right when I get back. So I'm saving that two-day shield, really. Usually I would use it right away, but because I'm traveling this weekend and everything like that, uh, with the time difference, you know, I'm saving that two-day shield for the weekend. And also, just a pro tip, weekends are the worst. I'm sure you guys already know this. If you're clouding in the skies, the forecast is really bad on weekends. 
uh, depending on the time of day, but usually all in general, especially on the end of a tournament weekend. Everyone's either pushing or on shield or what whatnot or have shields available where after they're pushed they can pop that shield all the way through. And then usually like right after a tournament, that, that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, that's when, you know, the cups are getting good again and the clouds are kind of clearing out. Um, but there you go, uh, some defensive wins and losses for that series. Uh, that does it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks again for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Jorge Yao out. Peace out, guys.